What is technology where you and I could just swap places? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Shelly, you have to come here. It is amazing. For where are you? Class, I'm in Los Cabos, Mexico. So basically from Tijuana, from San Diego, from Los Angeles, it's only a two hour flight nonstop. There's no testing you need to become to, 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 to get in here. And not only that, but I'm at the Viceroy in Los Cabos, which is in San Jose. And it's literally from, from the door of the plane, basically to my hotel. It was not, no joke, 20 minutes before I had my margarita in hand. This property is just so beautiful because Mexico has such great architecture, but not a lot of people associate it with something modern. This was built by a very famous uh, Mexican art, uh, um, architect who basically made a white canvas for everybody to be able to add their own color, add their own spice of life. So definitely something to consider uh, when if you're looking for that last minute vacation or just to get away. Is that a pool behind you or is that the beach? Yes. That's oh, no, no, that's, that's the pool. The, every, all of the rooms have pools that you can walk out onto and then go down to the beach if you'd like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know we've been talking a lot about it um, this week about traveling and people are trying to do something for the summer, but it's very confusing because depending on where you go, how you get back, you need COVID tests, you don't need a COVID test, there's long lines at the airport. It's just so overwhelming right now. What is the situation like right now, for example, with Cabo and Mexico? Honestly, it's now you can basically assume that most places that you're going to travel to internationally do not require anything to get in if you're vaccinated. That's a big one. So if you're fully vaccinated and had the booster, then you can, there's no, no need to do a test to get into countries. Now, there are some that are closed still, like Japan, but most places, especially Eastern, Western Europe, et cetera, are open. The one thing I do have to, and I cannot stress enough, is that you do need a test to get back in one day before. It doesn't have to be 24 hours, but one day before you have to do an antigen test. And that you need to, you need proof of that. So you need to do it somewhere that they will give you proof. And that is how you can get back in. So to, to reiterate, if you're traveling anywhere internationally, they will not let you board the plane without an antigen test done one day before. Yeah, and that antigen test, and I've learned this the hard way, can cost you a lot of money. And then if you're on a trip with four, five, six, whatever people, and they're running sometimes about $100, 80 to $100, I mean, that adds up. Well, honestly, make do your, your homework before you go. Ask your concierge if you're staying at a hotel. Ask your travel advisor. Because, for example, I was able to do it here, and it's eighteen dollars to do. But if you go other places, they may they may not be as cheap as exactly as you said. And so many people are traveling in that, uh, this this right now, actually, pretty much up to standards for before. COVID. So book early. If you are planning to go, book now. Um, arrive early to everything and make sure that you have your patients with you before you go because there are a lot of lines. Uh, the TSA actually said that 2.3 million people passed through TSA last month alone, wow. basically higher than 2019. That is actually uh, the picture when I arrived in Cabo. So, you know, going through immigrations, the flights are jam packed. Um, people, 85% of Americans said that they are actually expected to travel this summer. So definitely, again, I cannot stress enough to do your homework, but book early. So if you are heading out. You say book early, but there's people who waited because you don't know, like a lot of the policies, Tanya, you know, are changing before they were trying to get your money and say, we'll give you your money back. And then all of a sudden they're, they're taking full deposits. So if there's somebody who's watching right now that would like to do something this summer, what would be your best advice to them? My best advice would definitely just start researching. If you're not, if you don't have a travel advisor, you're going to have to research. There's what we call death by analysis because you're right, Shelley. You don't really know what's going on. It's very confusing. So get on to the internet, talk to somebody, book now, but most importantly, watch out for the cancellation policies because you're right. They, things have changed. Before, they wanted to get you travel and they would make it very relaxed, but now they're taking deposits and making sure that they actually are non refundable, could be 14 days in advance. Uh, flights are getting canceled left, right, and center because of such demand. Not and obviously have a plan B. Be flexible. Get the apps. You know, if so, if you're planning to go right now, as you said, start getting the apps, downloading the apps in terms of flight aware and all that sort of stuff. And again, I mean, I can't stress enough of how how to work with somebody, especially now. Yeah, because we've heard about the flight cancellations and things changing, and you just 
got to be a patient. These vacations are meant to relax you, not stress you out. Okay, I'm going to message my travel right. advisor right now. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Good to see but you, Sally. Yeah. What? Most importantly, have fun when you do go. You're saying, like, relax. But you know what? Have fun. Oh, girl. <laughs> Can someone fix this technology so we can go there, please? What are you trying to do to us? I'm messaging you right now. Tanya, thank you. Have fun in Cabo. Thanks. See you soon. Okay.